So, number ten, the third way. We did decimals. We work with the fractions, and this is how we are going to do it for、um, the third way. And I will call this、um, "get rid of the fraction." Get rid of the well, the fraction. We can think about the denominators. All right. So get rid of the fraction, and I will show you how. So let me write down some necessary steps first. First, I need to copy down the question. Four over five plus parentheses negative three over ten parentheses equals to x plus one and one half. So let me take care of some business. Positive times a negative, it's a result of negative. So I have four over five minus three over ten equals to x. And also, I need to take care of this business. I need to change this to an improper fraction. So, as I said earlier, I would like to work. We we like to work with improper fractions better. So, you barely see mixed numbers in algebra. All right. So the way to do this is again, fractions.、Uh, the denominator will be the same. You take the one, multiply by the two, which is two, and then you add the one on the top, which is the total of three. Okay. So now you have three fractions: four over five, three over ten, and、uh, three, three over two. So I want to get rid of the fraction. This is how we are going to do it. Pay attention to the denominators. Pay attention to the denominators, and let's ask ourselves: What's the lowest common multiple of all these denominators? Five, ten, and two, which is equal to ten, right? Because if you think about it, five times two can be equal to ten. Ten times one is equal to ten. Two times five is also equal to ten. So, first de determine what's the lowest common multiple of the denominator. We can get rid of the fractions by, what was it? By multiply every term, every term, or everything, everything right here by the LC. M D. So you determined that the lowest common multiple of the denominator is equal to ten. I'm going to multiply four over five by ten. So let me put ten times that, and I'll do the same right here. Ten times three over ten, and then for the x as well, ten times x, and then for three over two as well, ten times three over two. And now we have to just work with this multiplication right here. So ten times four over five. To multiply, let me write ten as ten over one. To multiply fractions, we can first cross cancel. Five goes into five once. Five goes into ten twice, and now we just need to do two times four, which is equal to eight. Right, eight over one, which is the same as eight. And for the next one, ten times three over ten. Let me write the ten as ten over one, and the tens. Ten goes into ten once. Ten goes into this ten once as well. So they cancel out, and I have just a subtraction. Let me write down subtract one times three, which is just three, over one, which is just three. Okay, equals to ten times x, which is ten x, and then ten times three over two. Let me write ten as ten over one, and then cross cancel first. Two goes into two once. Two goes into this five,、uh, this ten, five times. Five times three is equal to fifteen. So plus fifteen. So now, as you can see, that this is what I mean by get rid of the fraction. And to do that, we can just find out what the lowest common multiple of the denominators are. I mean, find out what the lowest common denominators is, and、um, just multiply it. In this case, we have ten. Multiply everything by the ten, and do some calculations right here. That's all. And after all the hard work, we have a nice, much nicer fraction. No, not a nice number fraction. I mean, a nice, a much nicer equation. A minus three is equal to five, by the way. So five equals to ten x plus fifteen. So as usual, minus fifteen on both sides, right? Because positive fifteen minus fifteen will be zero. Doing that, I will get. Ten x on the right hand side, and then right here, five minus fifteen 
is a negative 10. And then 10x is equal to negative 10. I need to divide both sides by 10. 10, 10 cancels. And I have x. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. But negative divided by a positive is a negative. So again, negative 1 is equal to x. x is equal to negative 1. So three ways to do fraction equations.